with um, Cambosas Junior's win, is the fir- is the sights firmly set on Australia now for yourself? I think so. I mean, Australia is a big market for us anyway, and to go there and create a sort of history fight like that would be great. Obviously, Lou Debella's his promoter. We'll have to speak to him, but you know, sooner or later he's going to get loads of mandatories put on him. So he's better off having that undisputed fight against Devin Haney, making as much money as possible, and hopefully we can get that made. I mean, another name over in Australia is Tim Tazu. Have you been keeping an eye on his career as well? Good fighter. Yeah, good fighter. Um, I know that his promoters over there, Matty Rose, and, and they've done a good job with him. I would like to see him box internationally. You know what? This is a problem with Australian fighters. As much potential that's in that market, you have to allow that fighter to box all around the world because there's a massive market in the US, there's a massive market in the UK. And I just feel with Tim, I'd like to see him have a fight in America, you know, because he's a big star, big name, but they've done a great job for him there. And, and you know, I think he's, sooner or later, he's gonna fight for that world title. Three years ago, we were here for, uh, well, not here, but over in Sheffield for Zarafa versus Kelbrook, yeah. uh, another Australian. Um, did you think that the world of boxing would be looking at Australia now? Because it just seems like the flavor of the month, doesn't it? I just think that, you know, Australians are very similar to us. You know, they love their live sport, they like a night out, they like a beer, and um, when you've got countries like that, then boxing and darts, which is a, a big sport for us in Australia as well, um, has huge potential. But it, it needs talent. You can't just say, oh, let's go to Australia and start boxing without the talent. And now with Cambosas particularly, with Tim Zhu, you know, with, with Dempsey McKean, with Brock Jarvis, with Ebony Bridges, you know, got great amateurs, Sky Nicholson turning pro and stuff like this. That's where you need to develop a roster, build athletes, build uh, personalities. But if you don't have fighters that can't go to the world level, these guys, you know, the fans aren't idiots, but they do have some great fighters there now. It's going to really help the growth. As a business owner and a member of the public as well, um, what were your thoughts on the MPs? restrictions that are possibly going to happen how does that shape up your show for next week is it i mean what does that do no, i think it's quite you know i think people are used to it now you know i mean you look at the euros similar kind of environment and and next week you know you have to be double vaccinated or have a negative test we sold a lot of tickets for next week i, I i'm confident everybody going accepts the world we live in and says no problem you know a huge amount of those will be double vaccinated and if they're not they'll get a negative test and come so you just got to do what you got to do. You got to follow the rules. You know, rules are there. Not everyone agrees with rules, but they're rules, and we have to abide by those rules. Hopefully, we can get through this little period again and go back to normal in January. Good stuff. All the best. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers or promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace